Hello, I'm Larry Battle, and I'm here to teach you how to learn sig figs in no time. Okay, common names for sig figs are significant figures, significant digits, and significant numbers. So, what are sig figs? Sig figs are how many digits in a measurement are reliable, or in other words, how many digits are known with certainty. So, how are they useful? Well, just remember that your data can only be as reliable as your least reliable data. Therefore, if we do an operation on them, on um, a group of numbers that have different significant, significant figures, like this, this has 1, this has 3, and this has 4. Our resulting operation is not a number with 4 significant figures, but it's a number with 1. I'll discuss more about this later. How do you find significant figures? Well, the first thing you want to do is always ignore the leading zeros. Always ignore them. So on these, we want to ignore the first four. And the first four in these. Ah, can't really. Yeah. Okay, so the amount of significant figures is, if the number has a decimal point, then it's all the digits. So on this one, there's a decimal point right here. Therefore, all the digits are significant. So one, two, three, four, and five. Otherwise, if there is not a decimal point, then you want to count from the first non-zero to the last non-zero. So the first non-zero in this number is 2, and the last non-zero is 4. So the amount of significant figures is 0, uh, 1, 2, 3. Three significant figures. Now, if the number is a definition, then all the numbers are significant. Therefore, if A equals 2,340 of B, then there are one, two, three, four, four significant figures. Okay, let's do an example. How many significant figures are there in the following number? In the following numbers? Okay, so the first one doesn't have a decimal point, so how many significant figures? In this case, we count from the first one, the first non zero, to the last non zero, and that is. One, two, three, four, five. Five significant figures. What about on this one? Okay, there's no decimal point, so you just count from the first on zero to the last non zero. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five significant figures. What about on this one? This one has a decimal point. Yes. All the digits are significant. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six significant figures. Now that we know how to count the significant figures in a number, now we need to perform operations properly. For multiplication and division, the resulting number should have the same amount of significant figures as the number with the least significant figures. For addition and subtraction, the resulting number should have the same amount of decimal points as the number with the least decimal points. Okay, so let's do an example. This one is multiplication. So re remember with multiplication, the result has to have the same number of significant figures as the least number with the uh, as the number with the least significant figures. And in this case, between these two numbers, which is two significant figures and three significant figures, that means the result which is uh, which has five significant figures has to have two so it's 23 because you round you round 2 to 3 now for addition the resulting answer has to have the same amount of decimal points as the number with the least in this case it's 953 because it has no decimal points therefore the number has to have no decimal points Remember that you have to round in each case. Okay, let's review the quiz. So, how many significant figures does the following uh, do the following numbers have? In the first one, it has a decimal point. 
Now remember that we don't count leading zeros, so that doesn't matter. And since it has a decimal point, all the digits are significant, except for the leading zeros. So there's five. Five significant figures. What about this one? That's right, there's five again. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one, how many significant figures? This one has six. Zero, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now convert this number to three significant figures. You're gonna have the round. Okay, now what you do is basically you just count from the left to right the amount of significant figures. In this case, it's three. So one, two, three, put a space. You put a space, then you just round. Okay, so that would be you round, which is that, and we just fill it in with zeros, two, three, and that's the number. R, what you can do is put it in scientific notation, which is 1.33 times 10 to the how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the fifth. Okay, for our last example, we're going to compare two numbers and see if they have the same significant figures. And this one, it's 10, 10, 10. And let's count how many significant figures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five significant figures. Therefore, the answer is yes. And for the last part, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is no. Well, that completes this tutorial, and thank you for your time. I'm Larry Battle, and you can visit me at battle.com for more tutorials and information. Thank you. Bye.